Hi guys, welcome back here to Drone Emotion, a channel where we do drone videos and where we cover the most relevant drone news. Today my friends, we're back here once again with a breaking news and this time it's not DJI, it's not Hotel, it's Sony and the AirPick drone all of us have been waiting for and today Sony finally rebuilt its drone in CES 2021 and today we're going to be covering all of the details of this drone when is it going to be coming out when can we buy it all of the specs everything absolutely everything we're going to be covering in today's video is going to be a really really exciting one my friends but before we get started if you're new to the channel welcome here welcome here to the drone emotion family and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with the latest drone news because in this channel we will always be the first one to bring you the latest drone news and also so if you want to participate in our, in our next giveaway, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can participate in our next giveaway. So my friends, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into today's video, which is a very, very exciting one. My friends, just a couple minutes ago, Sony rebuilt its first drone and I couldn't be more excited to share all this info with all of you. So the first thing that I'm gonna go to, to do is I'm gonna go share with you a couple pictures of this drone and then as we move along the way in this video, I'm going to be sharing a couple videos that we got from Sony. Okay, and we're going to be talking and discussing everything you need to know about them. So first things first, let's go ahead and share with you the design of this Sony AirPick drone, which is going to surprise all of you right here on the screen. There we have it. What a beautiful design, made out of carbon fiber. We got the, we have those retractable landing gear. I absolutely love the design. A little bit similar to what we find on the Matrice 600. I know some of you might be a little confused. Some of you, I, I know I personally was expecting to see something like this, something like a Mavic, something that was foldable, but no, it looks like Sony went all out and they are ready to battle the DJI Inspire 2 that's right, this drone is a professional film making drone and this is going to be battling DJI's best drone, the DJI Inspire 2 right here on the screen. There we have it. So the DJI Inspire 2 is going to be the biggest rival of this drone. That's what Sony is going to, that's Sony's target, that's what they're going for. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So Sony's Test us on early November with this drone and it was finally released in CS 2020. First day of CS 2020 and it's a, been a great day. Keep in mind tomorrow we're getting the auto products. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that info coming very very soon to the channel. So that is the Sony AirPick drone. Something that's designed for adventurous creators, okay? I really really like it. I really like the design. So what, what is really the Sony AirPix? So in spite of its high profile, it's still something of a teaser because we still don't have the final specs such as the range, okay? We still don't have all of the technical specs such as the flight time, if it's going to have 360 degree obstacle avoidance. But we do have some more info regarding this drone, okay? So first things first, when is it going to be released? So when can we buy this drone? This drone is going to be available for purchase on spring of 2021. So just a couple more months before we can actually buy this drone, okay? So this, so this drone, as I already mentioned, is focused toward professional photography and video production, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, my friends, and share with you the first teaser video from Sony right here on the screen. There we have it. There we have the video, and it's pretty interesting. I really like the the video that they did. I really like it. So this drone is not going to be foldable. It's going to be fixed. We cannot fold the arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and share a picture right here on screen with all of you. There we have it. So it looks like the air peak appears to be to be resting down upside down in its case with its arms attached, and also we see that the leg that the legs are being attached to the drone, okay? Something very interesting, this drone 
comes with an FPB camera in addition to the mirrorless camera that we can mount, okay? So we can mount so, some of the Sony's mirrorless cameras which are one of the best in the market right now. The a7 III is one of the best cameras you can get. It's a $3,000 camera. It's really the best of the best, okay? So Sony claims that this is the smallest drone that can carry that camera, okay? So I really like it. And also we're gonna be getting an FPV camera on top of it, just like what we find on the Inspire 2 right here on the screen. This is going to be the Sony Airpeak FPV camera. There we have it. So this is going to be a separate camera, which means we're probably going to be able to, con to use two controllers one for the camera and one for the operator of the drone just like what we find on the inspire 2 below that we also find that there's obstacle avoidance sensor we can see two little cameras so we're guessing that's going to be obstacle avoidance for this drone and Sony actually boasted about ai in the announcement but offered they gave us no details so we're curious about what artificial intelligence is on board we still don't know all about that we also know that it's going to have dual batteries just like what we find on the inspire 2 i'm going to go ahead and share this picture with all of you right here on screen there we have it dual batteries so we can clearly see there are two batteries going into the compartment so if, if one fails the drone still has one battery to run so this is really really great so we still don't know if they're going if they're going to be hot swappable hopefully they will be okay also if you look on the right hand side in the above pic you'll see another set of sensors again we can predict that these are going to be optical avoidance we can also see here that the arms appear to be made of carbon fiber or some other type of composite but for me that's carbon fiber 100 percent that means it's going to be a very very light drone in the in the reasonable margins okay so the flight controller and other electronics appear to be concealed and protected from the weather okay so maybe they're hopefully going to be weatherproof so most likely we're going to be having 360 degree obstacle avoidance with this drone that's what i will at least hope for this drone and if they want to battle the inspire 2 but most particularly i think that this means that sony is pressuring dji to release the inspire 3 which should be coming this year okay we also gonna be having an adjustable gimbal, okay? You can see a couple of adjustments for center gravity here, allowing us to balance out the load regardless of which lens you decide to use with your Alpha Sony camera. Okay, and also something noteworthy is that there appear to be some sort of adjustable shock absorbers on the legs, so that's going to be really handy when it comes to rough landings, okay? When we're landing on a, on a not so smooth terrain, okay? So that is going to be the Sony Air Peak. We still don't have the official price, unfortunately, but do expect a pretty hefty price tag for this drone. I will expect something, this is my prediction, somewhere between $3,000 to $5,000, okay? Not considering the Sony camera, just the drone alone with the controller. That's my prediction. Plus the Sony camera, bring it somewhere around $8,000, which is something pretty similar to the Inspire 2 from DJI, and that's that's the price of the Inspire 2, somewhere around eight to ten thousand dollars for the Inspire 2. Okay, so I think this is going to be the future for professional filmmaking. So we still don't know if we're going to be getting more products within the Airpeak lineup. Hopefully we do. So I would really like to see something more focused toward consumers, normal consumers, something like something like this, something like Mavic 2. I would really like to see that but with Sony, hopefully they, they're working on it and it's coming out soon. I'm hoping for that, but we still don't have confirmation of that. So hopefully we get that from Sony soon. That's all I have for you. As soon as we have any more new specs info or anything regarding a new Sony AirPeak drone or more info about the AirPeak, we're going to keep you updated here on this channel. That's all I have for all of you. So keep tuning this channel because the AirPeak is coming soon in spring pricing coming soon and technical specs should also be coming real soon as we as soon as we have them you're gonna have it here first in the channel thank you for watching my friends and see you tomorrow with a brand new video drone emotion signing out